My name is Mike Scott. I'm the singer and founder of The Water Boys. And today I'm in Amoeba, and this is what's in my bag. I was longing to be wooed. I was ready to be humbled by the words that you had written by the syllables you mumbled. Yeah, I was ready in my heart. When I come to a shop like Amoeba, I don't want to. I don't want to shop for the top 20 albums or, or rock A to Z. It's too weird and wonderful a record shop for that. I want to look for things I won't find any place else. Like this, the feedback. It's an Ennio Morricone side project. It's made sometime in the late 60s or the early 70s, and it's a psychedelic mix of uh, jazz and cocktail and lounge music. So I uh, can't wait to hear this. And, and it's on CD, so I can mash it up. Flipper Psych Out. It's Italian library music from the late 60s or the early 70s, all fuzz guitar, film soundtrack music. Fab for mashing up. I love mashing things up. Every time the Waterboys go on tour, uh, I prepare the, the pre-gig tape, which is, uh, there's only one rule, it's gotta be all instrumental. Well, there's two rules, it's gotta be all great as well. And I, I take favourite instrumentals and I mash them up and turn bits backwards and, and it would put weird EQs and phasers and things, so... Flipper Psych Out is going to be prime mash-up contender. Two Sonny Rollins albums. And they're both, they're both vintage, they're both from the right period. You can, you can tell by the sleeves and by the look of them that they're from the vintage period, and by the players that are on them. Clifford Brown, Mac, Max Roach, etc. I've a book here, Glyn John's biography. He's a great recording engineer that recorded the Stones and the Small Faces, occasionally the Beatles. Like most of these memoirs, are probably gonna be full of great stories. So I'm looking forward to reading that. I might read it on the plane back home. I'd say that would be half of a transatlantic flight. Mel Evans Circus Bands. A CD of circus music. Who could resist that? Barnum and Bailey's favorite. Royal Decree, Pageant of Progress. Colossus of Columbia March. I can just imagine it, it's gonna be wonderful. Oompa music. Probably sound brilliant turned backwards. Now this is from the lounge section, bottoms up. It's a collection of uh, specialized, weird, lounge, easy listening music. I'm hoping most of it's gonna be instrumental. Music to watch girls go by, well, everybody knows that. I'm more interested in the stuff that nobody knows. Hot Toddy, Fandango, Baby Elephant Walk, The Donkey Serenade. I'll check it out. Yeah, I went to the soul music section uh, to buy some James Brown records. And I got this because it's all instrumentals. But I, I love buying instrumentals. In fact, I would have bought this on CD if I could have found it. But it wasn't on CD, so vinyl it is. And lastly, no visit to a record shop would be complete without buying something just because the cover looks great. I don't even know who this dude is, but I just love the look of it. Looks like he means some serious business. And the back cover, the picture would seem to date it to maybe 1972, 73. There he is in his wide lapels with a couple of girl singers behind him. So uh, my voyage of discovery awaits when I get this home. And that's it. That's my lot. Good booty.